planner friends it is sandra welcome back to my channel i'm so glad you could join me today i'm filming this video super early it is wednesday today and i feel like i'm not prepared for this i got up at five in the morning today um just finished my budget video and it's going to be a hefty day of filming errands editing and it's just going to be one of those days guys so bear with me um so because today i I'm going to just show you here. So this is what I've been doing my weekly goals on. So these are the progressive task lists from Franklin Covey. I will not be doing a new one of these today because it is Wednesday and a lot of this stuff is not even complete yet. I, I did a whole bunch of work yesterday. We'll go through that because I do want to share with you guys how productive I felt like I was and like it just gives me such a good feeling. I know sometimes it's kind of annoying. I'll post on like Instagram my completed task list and be like, look how much I got done. But when I actually do get all that stuff done, it just makes me feel so good because there's a lot of things that I'll put on my task list, my master task list for the month. And it'll just be like, I feel like there's so much to do. And then sometimes I get overwhelmed and then I put it off and I put it off and I put it off. And then when I actually go and get it done, I'm like, oh, finally I can cross that task off. So um, I just want to kind of share with my, my success with you, right? And just, we'll cross off some stuff on here, um, on today's list, yesterday's list, we'll go through it. But before we do that, well, I guess it says review goals. So I guess we can do that now, like just all the stuff that, that I've done and maybe check off this stuff on the monthly. I think I already did that. So for Sharpen the Saw, I haven't done as much reading as I would like. Um, water, I have not been drinking enough water. Like yesterday I had one bottle and I feel like this morning... My first motto in the morning when I wake up is I need to drink one bottle of water and I just went right for the coffee because I went to bed at, it was like 1144 last night and I couldn't sleep. I don't know why. My husband was coming home last night. He didn't get home till like 1245 or 1230 and then he woke me up when he came home. The dogs were being annoying. My little dog, Jack, he, for some reason, he's been whining every night and I just haven't had the best sleep and like... I'm feeling definitely more pregnant. Like I actually have a baby bump now and it's like, it feels like it's pressing on my lungs. Like it's, I'm right, like it's carrying really high right now and I don't know why. And like my allergies have been acting up. <laughs> so this is not a rant. I do not mean to complain. I'm just not been getting the best sleep. So not, no sleep, not enough water. I have been trying to do Kegel, Kegels, Kegels, I don't know, but it's been, it's been difficult because even though I'm sitting at my desk, it's just like the concentration just isn't there. And it actually, it's hard to like do it. Like even if you're just sitting there, sometimes you just forget, um, meditate. I have not. So the only thing I did, I did read yesterday and then I've been journaling consistently every day. So I do feel like I can cross that off because I've never missed a journaling day. So that's good. Um, my Bujo setup. So I have drawn it out the other day. I added to it yesterday and I'm doing that video as soon as I'm done this one. My only question is whether I should do a voiceover because I was watching an Amanda Rach Lee one and she always does voiceovers and they do sound so good, but I feel like sometimes they're rushed. So what I've been doing is I do an intro, I play music during the whole thing, and then I talk about the spreads at the end. And some people like that, some people probably don't like that, and I don't really know what I should do. Um, but I have been getting more interested in like just working in my bullet journal for a while. And I almost... Oh, as much as I don't want to leave my Franklin for an entire month, I almost want to challenge myself and just, just focus on my bullet journal for an entire month. But I don't want to upset anyone who like likes watching my Franklin videos. And I do love my Franklin so much. Like I can't stop using it. And it just seems like overkill if I did the same work in both of them. And technically I don't, I still do my, my daily stuff in here. Um, I, I like to have a daily to-do list. But like, I guess, I mean, I guess I could make it work. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I just don't feel like doing the same work twice. Like if I'm going to write the weekly information down in here, why would I have weekly spreads in my bullet journal? But I think it's more for like the artistic value of it. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to cross this off because I'm doing this video right now. I have not been posting to IG regularly. Um, I do have lots of posts that I could post 
and I just haven't been following up. I did one yesterday. I think I did one the day before and I will do one today. But then when I go camping, like I guess I should really focus on stories. Like I have to realize that my IG Instagram is more about my daily life and not just my business. Like in stories, I could have, you know, pictures and like reels of us going camping and I just haven't. And I really, I, I, want to because looking back that's still like a memory you know so I'm gonna try doing that this weekend when we go camping so we'll see how that goes um good news I actually updated my Facebook page you guys so if you want to check it out um it's kind of got like it's just focusing on my sticker shop and I have links to my Etsy shop and also my website on there so my Facebook page I think it's just Sandy Stickers on there. I don't think it's Sandy Sticker Shop. It's just Sandy Stickers, but it is a Facebook page. So if you guys want to go there and um, follow it or like it, it would help me out. It would be able to grow um, just to be able to promote across more platforms, find more people because um, I know I gave you the spiel about quitting Etsy in the new year. So I just want to see how busy Etsy actually gets from like pretty much, I guess the end of August into December, I want to see how busy, because that's the busy season for any creator, um, no matter what you do, because like everybody's at home, everybody's getting ready for school and for like, you know, just kind of another round of indoor time. So I think I just want to see how busy Etsy gets. And then I'm thinking, I think I'm going to shut it down just because it's, the fees are outrageous. Like I, you know, it's a good marketing platform. It's a good spot to like have people find you but it's just also really difficult to keep up with the fees. So, okay, coming on to the back here. So I did really good yesterday. I tackled my son's room finally. Um, I was going to do the fridge, but I ran out of time. So I did his bookshelf. Um, I still have to like take all the books back off because when I move it, I have to restaple the back because the back popped off because I um, there's been so many books on that shelf over the years that the back you know, it's just one of those cheap chipboard bookshelves, but I'm going to stay like nail that back on. And then when I move, I have to clean his room and then I have to move the bookshelf toward the end of his bed so I can fit a little desk in his room. So until that point, at least I've cleaned it off. I took out all the old books he wasn't reading anymore and I just left like the nice books. So that's done. His night table is done, not mine. Um, the end of bed, haven't done that yet. And his dresser top I did, but I haven't done my daughter's and I haven't dusted mine yet, but at least it's something. So family, friends, Chad's birthday is actually tomorrow. So we have everything prepared, all of his birthday presents. My mom came over yesterday and dropped off some stuff for him. So all of that is done. The only thing I have to do today is get a lottery ticket to put in his card from my mom. Um, today I have to go to my best friend's house. And uh, so she's done work about three o'clock. I have to go over there after three and take our, all the garage stuff, sale stuff that I never sold because she's having a garage sale this weekend and she's going to sell it for me or try to anyway. Movie night. I haven't actually had one lately with my son. We were getting into watching movies and stuff together and then we just kind of fell off. So we haven't done that. Um, we won't be able to get one. We might be able to do one tonight, but I've been watching Love Island. Oh my goodness, you guys. I know I talked about this last year. <laughs> I love that show. It's so drama. There's so much drama and I love it so much because I don't have any drama in my own life. I have to watch it on TV. <laughs> so family time we'll have this weekend. I won't cross it off, but I mean, obviously we're going camping, right? Packing. So we're going to be doing a lot of the packing today. Once we get my mother-in-law's van, we'll switch the van and then, yeah. So most of this stuff, like I'm pretty proud of myself because I finally got to my son's room. It looks like 110% better. And I finally got to my Facebook page, which I've been meaning to do. And I've been doing pretty good with IG posting as long as I continue through today over the weekend. So that's my goal while I'm camping. Okay. <laughs> you guys have to hold me to it. I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm just going to cross off. I filmed my budget, filming the plan with me right now. And yeah, so I'll be filming my new bullet journal setup right after this and then the rest of this stuff is pretty much like besides for editing these videos everything else is like errands that I have to do and like packing so it's going to be a busy hectic day today 
And because I woke up at five, it is going to be a very tiring day for me. And by 11 o'clock tonight, I will be so glad to be in bed. <laughs> okay, so this is my yesterday. I just wanted to share this with you before we move on to um, like looking at the calendar and the master tasks. And then we'll just set up the schedule for next week because we're not doing new goals. I'll probably do that again, like in the background, maybe, and just post it to IG or something. Okay, so like besides for all of my regular stuff, I ended up getting an Etsy order first thing in the morning. I did that right away. And so sometimes I put Etsy orders off because I'm like, oh no, it's going to take forever. What if my Cricut machine has to be aligned, which is kind of a pain. But I did it first thing. It honestly took like 15 minutes and my daughter didn't disrupt my Cricut machine. Sometimes when it's running, she'll like try to grab the sticker sheet out and then ruins it. And I'm like, oh, okay, I can't make stickers when she's awake, but she's getting better. So she's still two, but she's going on three, like she's two and a half, you know, so she's getting a bit better. So I ended up going to 7-Eleven. I ended up dropping off my order. Um, I fertilized my plants yesterday, just the hanging baskets because I did it the day before and I watered, I think I'll water the rest of them today. So the low down here is that yesterday was only like 22 degrees Celsius, which is not that warm. Uh, it's not cold, but it wasn't warm because it was windy. Today is going to be 30 degrees and basically for the rest of the weekend, it's going to be a low of 28 during the day. So I'm going to get my mom to water my plants every single day, at least the ones that are hanging baskets because they tend to dry out really quick. Um, she's going to be watching our house and our dogs while we're gone. We are not taking our dogs camping again like we did the first time. Learned our lesson. It is too hard to do that. Like in a tent, it's so hard to take dogs. And we even had them escape one day, which was really bad. So uh, we learned our lesson there. I did the dishes. I did all of the laundry. We had like two or three sheet, like loads of laundry. Made breakfast for the kids. I finished um, drawing out my bullet journal. I did my expenses and Instagram reel sticker designs. So I did one sheet. I did um, plant doodles and I posted that already last night. Um, we were going to watch that Obi-Wan Kenobi, but my son was playing uh, Fortnite all night. And I managed to do some reading. I did not journal at night, but I did do the kids' journals, which was like key. Um, usually Monday is my journaling day, and I've kind of given up on my journaling routine just because for lack of time and because I want to focus on other things right now. Um, I did not clean the fridge, but I finally got to Connor's room, and then I also fertilized my indoor plants, which I honestly don't do as much as the outdoor ones. Um, because, well, they don't need it as much. I usually do it once a month or so, but I have like one of those like Easter cactuses and it hasn't bloomed yet. I think I got one bloom off of it, but it's only started to perk up lately because I put it right in the direct sunlight in my window. So I'm doing, doing better with plant maintenance anyway. I always like to have plants, but I just want plants that like are pretty self-sufficient, you know, except for the occasional watering. So anyway, I did really, really good yesterday. Um, it was a long list and all of this stuff took time, right? Like everything on your list takes time, but I managed to finish everything that was important. So I'm pretty proud of myself for that. So now I'm going to check out my calendar and then the master tasks I have. So we'll go to August here. Okay. So top of the list, dentist appointments. I have to figure this out. So my dilemma is our dentist is like super far away and I detest going there. Um, the original point of going there was for me to see this one dentist because I was, my mom started going there because it was, the dentist was like really, really good with people who were scared of going to the dentist. And then now they just keep throwing me in with new dentists all the time. And um, I'm getting kind of mad about it because the whole point of me going all that way, it takes an hour to get there. The whole point of me going all that way is so I could have seen that original dentist, but they no longer put me with her. So um, I'm going to give up on that dentist, I think, and then go to one that's close by because I'm just sick and tired of it. Um, I'm just done. I'm not going to waste the gas to go all that way. And so the biggest thing is scheduling. I have to do cleaning for all of us. I need to get mine done and the kids need to get theirs done, but I can't take all of us at the same time. But my husband is gone because I can't keep an eye on my son and my daughter. My son has, he's actually scared of the chair. Like when it lays down all the way, he won't sit in the chair. 
um, the last time, and this is going to sound terrible, you guys, and you're probably going to give me crap for it, but I had to bribe him with $10 in order for him to lay down in the chair and he still wouldn't, wouldn't do it. And I didn't want to have to take him back to the dentist after or force him against his will. So I had to bribe him, but I had a talk with him and he said that he is growing up now and that he's like a big boy and that he won't be scared. So I'm praying, cross my fingers that he'll actually listen this time. But yeah, it won't be like a dentist check. It's just a cleaning, I think. Um, and the same with me, I can't get fluoride. I can't get x-rays. All I can get is scaling, but I do need to have that done. So I need to figure that out. And it's easier when my husband is home. So I think maybe in September, we're going to aim for, to get that done. Um, which is also difficult because my son goes back to school. So I'm just going to look at my calendar. I wonder if I could make the appointment for like Wednesday because my son goes back to school Thursday, but my husband will be home on the 30th. So I'm going to see, maybe I'll call today and see if I can make an appointment, at least for my kids on the 31st. Technically I could go too. I'm just going to call dentist and that's at least until I can get into a different dentist because if we go to a new dentist, they're going to want to do the whole x-ray thing again and... Um, or transfer our files over, which sometimes costs money. And I'm just, I'm not ready to do that yet. So I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with that. Wash Chad's car. That won't happen until after we get back, probably. Or maybe the next time he's home, I think. Um, pick new journal. It's not a huge deal yet because I still have a few pages left in this journal. Yeah, I still have like quite a few pages. So I don't need to do that right yet. Ultrasound doctor appointment. That will be the... Not the ultrasound, but the doctor appointment will be this week. So we'll look at the calendar for that. That's what I thought I was doing, but I ended up going here first. Oh, well. Um, switch out van. We're doing that today. We're going to pack the van today. Danica's room, I have not started. My desk and chair for my son. That's something that we have in our minds. Um, clothes shop. At our project. I don't know if we're doing that this summer. We'll see. Um, spiritual schedule. I kind of gave up on that for now. T for T. That's a tarot for transformation. Same thing. I just don't have time. Same thing with the journal routine. I kind of gave up on my journal routine, so I don't even know if that'll get done. So I'm just going to cross all those off. And then clean fridge, clean pantry. I'm going to attempt to clean the fridge today. And then maybe when we get back from camping, i am see if my husband can help me clean the pantry because it is bad and I can't reach the top shelf without going on a chair and our chairs are kind of rickety and like kind of falling apart. So maybe I'll see if he can help me pull everything off the shelf and like check everything because we have like a lot of chip bags that go up there and then they get stale. Nobody eats them. So we just kind of throw them out every month or so. And then it'll just be easier for me to see what we have in the pantry, what I need to buy. So that will probably go on my list. Um, clean fridge is on my list for today, I think. Yeah. And then clean pantry will go on for next week. So kind of flipping over to the schedule. Tomorrow is Chad's birthday. We go camping that day. I have videos posting every day this week except for Sunday. We come back on Sunday. And then I'll be back in time to start work again. So like blog, I'll transfer that Monday. I probably won't have a makeup Monday video because I've been doing every second week. And like just cutting back on that a little bit has been helping me because I just don't have the time to do my makeup all the time. Um, and we're camping. Like I'm not going to be doing my makeup for camping because it's so hard to like wash my makeup off and I don't have to bring my makeup remover and stuff like that. So we'll probably get groceries Monday. Chad leaves again on Tuesday. I'll be doing the budget Wednesday. Um, I already did this school supply shopping, so I can cross that off. I'll post the budget on the Thursday. Um, I'll probably post my new bullet journal this week sometime. Um, because I have... Yeah, I don't know why I didn't put it on here. Let me see if I put it on my other planner. Okay, so I have it posted for the 23rd, but I think I might put it on like the Tuesday on the 16th because I think it will be done. Or maybe not because... Um, I'm filming it today, but I don't think I'll have time to edit that one today. So, or we'll see because I need to do a voiceover potentially. Yeah, I think maybe I'll do a voiceover for that one. So I'm not sure. I might be able to get it done today. We'll see. If I get it done, I'll post it for Tuesday. And if not, I'll have it on the 23rd, which will give me like a week to work on it. But I do have to start working on my September bullet journal setup when I get back. So that'll be another work task I'll have to work on this week. And then on the very last day of the week, which is a Friday, my mom is coming over. Um, I have to go to my doctor's appointment and like, it's kind of a prenatal. It's my family doctor. She doesn't really do anything. Like, honestly, I don't even, it's kind of pointless. The only thing that's of any importance to me really is the blood pressure check. 
and she listens for the baby's heartbeat. And because I'm at the point where I haven't felt the baby move yet, like I'm only 17 weeks, going on 18 weeks right now, um, I haven't felt any movement. So, which is normal, right? You might not feel movement until 20 weeks. I was kind of like waiting for it because they say if you've already experienced having a baby, that your second or third baby, you can sometimes feel it as cl- like 16 weeks, but I haven't felt anything. So, um, other than listening for the heartbeat, that's pretty much all she does. <laughs> and then any questions, blah, 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 blah. But I mean, this isn't my first rodeo. So, <clears throat> so basically to me, this looks like a normal week. I'll be able to get lots of extra work done, um, preferably in the Swedish death cleaning department. And then I also have shopping for my son's clothes here. He honestly doesn't need much. Um, I'm just going to write a list. I'll probably end up buying socks and underwear. Um, he has a Brazilian t-shirt. So my mom has been buying pants. She already bought him a pair of shoes. Um, his grandpa is going to be buying him his like winter boots and like a winter winter outfit type thing. So honestly, he doesn't really even need that much. And he's not at the point where he's like, oh, I need new clothes for school because it's like a new school year. Um, he doesn't really care. He just, whatever's in his drawer, he puts it on. He's starting to like match, which I like. Like he, he picks out his own clothes. He's done that for quite a few years now, but um, he's starting to like know what looks good together. So that's kind of fun. <laughs> um and I'll have time to do like a good plan with me and that kind of thing. So I'm happy, happy that I have like a nice quiet week because um, I'll be able to work on my stickers and my, my blog and then get any videos done. I might be able to film a makeup video that week. So yeah, so we'll see how it goes guys, because uh, it kind of looks like a work, a work week for me. It'll be, it'll be good. So I think I'm ready to go ahead and schedule my week. Like I said, I won't have new goals. They're not going to change really that much from what I currently have anyway. So let's do the new week. I'm just going to go there right now. And then I always flip back and reference my month anyway. Um, I'm going to switch it up again this week. I'm going to use different stickers. <clears throat> I just want to take a little glimpse at my goals and see what I had written down here. Okay, um, for August. So, I want to focus on reading more, maybe. That's a good one, too. So, I need to cross off the Facebook page because I did that. Um, yeah, that's good. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to put this aside. I'll write in all of my videos here. I'm going to use these stickers again for my videos to show when I've got videos posting. I was going to use my YouTube stickers, but I'll use these instead. And then these are some old Christian design stickers. Obviously, I've used a whole bunch of these already, but I wanted to start using them up so I can do some decorating and stuff. But the only problem with Christian design stickers, they're printed on this material that doesn't pick up like a gel pen or a ballpoint pen. So the only pen you can use is a permanent ink pen. And the only two that I have, this is a Secura Microperm pen. They come in 0 0.1, 0 0.3, and 0 0.5. And then I also have like a Sharpie Ultra Fine Point. Um, they're the only ones that work on these stickers for me. So um, that's the only downfall with that. But I'm just going to put my videos on here first and then we'll use these to, um, to fill out my spreads, okay? So let's get planning. I've been holding on, I wouldn't let you go. Cause every time I try, you find a loophole. I've been slamming the door and just leave you cold. When I come back, you've heated up the south. Oh, my. 
Okay, guys, so I think that's it. The phone I'm using currently is low on battery power, so um, I think we're going to wrap things up. Um, there's not really much to talk about because I think most of the stuff I've already discussed. The only thing is um, I want to see what else I can add to my Facebook page for my sticker shop. I want to see like how I can make reels and stuff unless I just take pictures of sticker sheets I create because right now all I really have is like when I've packaged the stickers because it looks really pretty with the shiny label and stuff um, and then I take a picture of it and then promote it that way but I think I want to start like taking photos like if I have a new collection or if I have certain collections I want to be able to print them out take a picture of all of them and say this is what I offer or how I make stickers or something like that so I want to do something like that and then I need to do my kids journals next week but I want to start adding pictures so I've got lots of summer um, picture ideas like I, I have an HP sprocket so that's how I print out my my little pictures for my phone so I want to do that because they have a sticky back I just paste them right into my journal right into my um, bullet journal anywhere where I want but I want to add some memories for the kids I think that's good so I'm just going to put on here IG post maybe what we'll try to do is try to schedule IG posts because one thing that I can do because I post videos every well not every day I post at least two a week right two to three a week so those can also be like posts on Instagram so when I say like video alert it's coming up I honestly just use the picture of the thumbnail that I've made for my video and then I use that to promote it on Instagram so those are already like three days covered and then in between I can do pictures of my planner or pictures of stickers that I create or send to people so yeah so I want to do some kind of schedule because even if it's on a weekly basis I'm just getting tired of um, not posting or playing it by ear and then I forget to post so I want to start doing that as well getting into that um, I did say pick new journal because I need to pick one anyway. And yeah, I think that's it. So the, the two shows I want to watch, Love Island, I've been watching as it comes on. And then The Handmaid's Tale. So that's the next show that I'm starting to watch. But um, there was one that I saw on Facebook people were talking about, like, something about a river. I have to look into that again. But uh, I only usually get about an hour to watch TV a day. And so I kind of slowly go through shows that way. I usually do that while I'm eating supper. Um, to be honest. So I don't usually get a lot of time to sit and watch TV, but it's a nice way to unwind and just chill out. So so I think that's it for this week. I'm excited how this one looks. I do, well, you guys probably know, I do enjoy changing it up. So this week, currently I used a lot of my own stickers. I used some munchkins and I think I used a Cora sticker somewhere right here. But I really do enjoy changing things up, making everything different. I don't like sticking to the same theme every month I like complete change but I think this is cute and it goes with the bright blue binder I am loving my binder right now I, I'm just gonna take a look because I've been checking every day it's already August 10th it's already August 10th and uh, Franklin said that they were coming out with new binders in August so I need to like I've just been looking right like always constantly looking to see if they have anything and I haven't seen anything yet that's new I'm kind of got my eyes on the vintage auroras but again I don't think nothing new has been posted to the website it looks like they got back the Asari leather strap binder in navy blue that one was gone from the website for a while and yeah nothing new yet so interesting but I'm going to keep my eye open because Rumor is they're going to have something in August, so we'll see how it goes. Potentially binders that have the 1.5 inch ring as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Click on the bell button to be notified of upcoming videos I post. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye, friends.